Yo, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? I was not anticipating this today, okay? What, what is going on in gaming, man? Like, damn! You know, YouTubers like Smash JT getting seasoned desist by Alyssa Mercante. We got the Ubisoft, we got the Assassin's Creed, the King, the Captain, the BBC Samurai situation, right? Apparently, they are now issuing refunds. I, I don't know what's going on, but like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video here, guys, because the situation is crazy, man. It's wilder than the BBC Samurai situation in Assassin's Creed, okay? Holy crap. Shout out to the homie Yellow Flesh. We're gonna get into this one, roll it. Another part to the Assassin's Creed Shadows situation Wait for that it. I want to touch on. And this is nice because I get to show you just how a lot of these video game sites work. Yeah. So, this is from Game Rant. Published May 18, 2024. Okay. And you see the headline right there? Yeah. Assassin's Creed Shadows pre-orders are reportedly off to a strong start. They're doing good, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing good. The game is going to make all kinds of money. Uh, uh, well, in September, October of 2024, it's almost October, we're hearing that they're issuing refunds. I, I, and yeah, this news is coming after the, the news and the announcement of Assassin's Creed BBC Samurai Edition getting delayed uh, to February of 2025. After that Ghost of Yoda situation, there's an entire situation with Sweet Baby Ink going around as well, which we'll, we'll get to probably in the next video, but... Despite the controversies that surrounded the game, when it came out, uh, nobody seemed to care. The game yeah. was doing just fine. And then, yesterday, from the same outlet, Assassin's Creed Shadows hit with big release date delay. Pre-orders refunded. That's interesting. So I missed this yesterday in the announcement. They're actually refunding pre-orders for this game. Nah. They're gonna do a whole. Nah, yo, what the hell? They're issuing. They're issuing refunds on the pre-orders. Holy crap! What is going on, man? Damn! Damn! What? Say you swear to God. Say you swear to God. Okay, it's like, okay, right now, of course, they have confirmed the game is getting delayed, right? It has, don't get me wrong, it has gotten cancelled big time on the internet. But still, I don't think, like, the actual game will get delayed. But now, I would not be shocked if it gets delayed. Or, I mean, cancelled, right? I would not be shocked if it gets fully cancelled. Although, I don't think that would happen. But if it does, I won't be shocked. Whole new marketing campaign Thoughts? with this game. Everything's gonna be new. So they're canceling pre-orders. Now, I don't think that's through, like, GameStop or anybody else. Oh, okay. you have, like, a physical. I think this is for pre-orders from Ubisoft. Mm. So, like, oh, if you okay. pre-ordered it through the Ubisoft website, through their little store that they have, or maybe even Epic Games. Okay. They don't okay. really clarify. It's all in this statement that they put out on Twitter that all these sites picked up. VG Charts here picked it up. In this little statement. Uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows will now release February 14, 2025. Now, previously, we also heard reports. Now, I'm not sure. I did not want to believe this. I still have a hard time believing this story. But what we heard was that apparently in uh, around like around the U.S., right? Within 900 stores all across the U.S. We're talking about 900 most likely gaming stores, okay? Right. Uh, gaming stores, okay? So uh, around like 900 stores... And the pre-order numbers were somewhere around like 800 <laughs> for Assassin's Creed. So not even one pre-order. If you want to average numbers out, that means not even one, not even one pre-order per store for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Of, uh, not Shadows. Uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows. I almost said Shadows of Evil because I've been playing that Shadows of Evil zombies map on Black Ops Three. Just kind of like nostalgia, because. Uh, yeah, like the Black Ops 6 Zombies, it's kind of 50-50 right now with people, but uh, let's get down Even to it. Right here they have it, where they say that they're going to refund pre-orders. So as such, we made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14th, 2025. The game will release on a broad range of platforms, including Steam, at launch. Additionally, pre-orders will be refunded, and all future pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. So they're redoing everything. Now, when you buy this game, you get the first DLC for free. Wow. Like they're Wow! Yay! Free DLC, guys. If it's free, it's for... Not for me. It's still not for me, even if it's free. Man, these suckers are crazy with this, uh, man. Holy crap, bro. I don't know, man. But you guys gonna pre-order for free DLC? Let me know, man. I wanna I wanna see, like, where the, 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 the brother's at, though. Like, I wanna see, like, where you guys at. Pre-order for free? Or DLC? Because I really want you to pre-order it. Mm -hmm. Which tells me... That, for one, Stuttering Craig was right when he talked about the fact that there was no hype for this game. Yeah, when he facts. talked about his insider guy, who, I don't know if he owns them or is just higher up at the company, but this guy that he knows that has knowledge of a store that has 900, chain, like a chain store that has 900 stores under its belt. Yeah, there we uh, go. Nobody ordered this game. Nobody pre-ordered. 
Yeah, so, that, 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 that's, yeah, 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 that's what I was talking about. That was, that's, that's what I was talking about. That pre-order numbers are somewhere around 800 through like these 900 stores, I believe, all across the U uh, all across the U.S. Maybe we're talking globally. I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like that it's like one uh, chain of stores, right? Like, could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I still don't want to believe that, though. I did not. But regardless, right? Like, regardless of this news being real or fake now, it, it, what's true here is that they're delaying it and they're issuing refunds for some pre-orders, perhaps all, only on the U Ubisoft stores. Which is, which is wild, right? So, like, yeah, uh, they're issuing refunds. Damn. So they would have to... Because, like, let's just say, right? For example, if they're issuing refunds for 200 people, right? On 100 different pre-orders. To get those people back, it's it's going to be a little bit challenging. Yeah, okay, half of them are just going to pre-order whenever it's available once again, right? Like, uh, uh, mathematically proven, right? Mathematically speaking, half of them are going to do it, right? But the other half, some of them, they would have to win over. But and they're not going to be able to get all those people back, right? Because, like, people forget, some people... Because, yeah, some people are probably not even going to know that they canceled their pre-order. So some people are going to forget about it, genuinely. Some people are probably gonna be like in another situation where they would need the money for something else. So maybe you pre-order uh, pre-order today, but tomorrow when they cancel your pre-order, and you're like, okay, whatever, right? Like, let me just buy something else. Oh, yeah, I needed that money for something else, right? So it, it, there are so many different factors. So I, I don't think they would be able to get all the people back that they canceled the pre-orders for. Oh, saying that the pre-orders were strong was a lie. That's not true. <laughs> and just how bad Wait were those pre-orders for the game? What was the actual number that they were getting? Uh, they, they must have been really spooked. And they're never going to release that info, unfortunately. We'll never know mm. how bad it really was. But man, mm -hmm. for them to do this, for them to just say, we're going to just go ahead and refund your pre-orders, which yeah. is wild. I also want to show you guys this in just a second. Video game maker Ubisoft in chaos after anti-DEE, -E, DEI backlash, though. Yay. And apparently they are saying that uh, Insider, Ubisoft Insider claims that criticism, people, of course, have been criticizing Assassin's Creed, the BBC Samurai situation, because they always do this, right? They use LGBT people as shields. They use black people as shields, and they always make black people gay in the game. The gameplay on top don't look that good, right? And once again, Yasuke was a real-life person who was not a samurai, who was not gay in real life. So they, they made him both of that in the game. If he was in real life, then it would make sense to do it, right? We have been talking about it. So they, they were like, F y'all. They're openly being racist towards white people. Uh, Ubisoft got mentorship programs where this, if you're a man, you cannot work here. Like, what? What? <laughs> what? And yeah, they're openly being racist towards Asian people, the Japanese people in the game. And to them, brown people, brown people, they don't even exist. Like, bro, what the hell? What the hell? And of course, the game on itself. Like, so all of these problems aside, the game looks like a PlayStation 3 game, right? Piss poor quality. They got so many things wrong with it. The game don't look that good either, right? It, yeah, it's just like a sucky situation for them. Star Wars, they really Star Wars. That looks like a PS3 game, right? And it's just pretty sad for them. And right now, Ubisoft Insider is claiming that there was criticism given to them and of course they're seeing that but they dismissed it as a toxic gamer talk so ubisoft is saying that's just like toxic gamers and they openly have said that hey gamers need to get real comfortable not owning our games i guess gamers are getting real comfortable not owning your guys games man <laughs> damn man I, and i know y'all be looking like this y'all think that gamers looking like this? <laughs> Y'all think gamers are looking like this? I mean, right now, man, let me tell you, man, y'all are looking like this. Yeah, no man allowed, right? No man allowed. Damn, these suckers crazy right now, man. They got mentorship programs where they don't want to have any men. Y'all, y'all suckers crazy, man. You cannot write mentorship without men in it. Plural. M, like mother. E, like elephant. N, like neighbor. Okay? Like, you cannot spell mentorship without men. Plural, okay? Damn, y'all suck is crazy, man. Y'all suck is crazy, bro. Because they just delayed the game. Games get delayed all the time. They don't refund the pre-order. So what's going on with mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Usually, I mean, you can cancel a pre-order. They're doing it for you, apparently. They're not really clear on how that's going to work, though. I just want to say. It must be just yeah. from their site. Well, they would have the power to do that. So are they going to take the game down from the site? It's almost yeah. like they want to sweep it under a rug. <laughs> so people forget about it, and then they can bring it back. <laughs> what as pointed out yesterday, 
This game is going to launch against that new Monster Hunter game that I'm sure is going to sell like crazy because that's oh, a Monster massive Hunter? franchise. Yeah. It's going to make all kinds of money. It's going to steal the spotlight and all the attention. When is that Ghost of uh, Tampon coming out, right? Oh, Ghost of Yode, my bad. Bruh. When is Ghost of <laughs> Ghost of Yode coming out? Like, and that game looking good. That game looking good, minus like what the actress has been saying and the sweet baby ink crap that is going on with it, right? Uh, yeah, the actress is apparently woke and she has been blocking people. She has been calling people out, right? She has been calling people, not just calling people out, she's openly being sexist and racist towards other people as well, right? So she's an activist essentially, but if her work as an actress is amazing in the game, then nobody will be able to take that away, right? But like, I don't get it, why do it? Why try to divide people? So there's like massive drama happening with Ghost of Tampon, Ghost of Yore, right? Like, so yeah, there's a whole lot of that, but wait for it. Oh, what is Ultimate Ninja Storm heads to mobile? What? Mm. <laughs> Who wants to play that on cell phones? That's so stupid. <laughs> Great game. I would much rather play it on Steam or Xbox yeah. or PlayStation or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, how much of a disaster is this? Man, I've never seen this before. Never <laughs> seen This has been such a wild ride watching all the shit go down with this yeah. Assassin's Creed game. Crazy, the stock huh? is in free fall. They admitted Damn. sales for Star Wars, Outlaws, or shit. And they put out a statement saying, hang on, stick with the game. Uh, we know it's broken and the stealth is messed up, which is a core aspect of the game because it's around, based around stealth, but stick around. We're going to fix the game. Yeah. Thanks for being a beta tester. <laughs> I think the days of releasing broken yeah. shit, number one. That's Man, gamers have been beta testers for years. Please, <laughs> let, us, let us just play a finalized, a fully finished product at launch. Or let's just say at least 90% finish at launch, okay? Yeah, I, I, we get it. Sometimes you can, yeah, like not all the bugs are going to be squashed. I I get it. But can a brother get like a fully functional product? It's like every time we have a game, the store is always working. The game don't work, but the store always works. So like, damn, man, this thing is crazy. But I want to dive into this story. Check this one out where they started calling gamers toxic and problematic. We love it, right? You guys love it, right? Yeah, let's see. Ubisoft is having a bad day, so guess whose fault it is? Well, it's of course, as always, your fault. It's your fault you didn't open your wallet and support yeah. their DEI initiatives and just not listen to any of their crap. You should have bought that broken Star Wars Outlaws. How dare you not support DEI? So a lot of companies yeah. are freaking out right now, and it's my wallet stay closed just like their mind towards men and brown people like me and uh, also like to all my homies that they've been racist towards right yeah they openly are racist towards black people white people brown people like me asian people as well yeah so absolutely man i'm, I'm, I'm my wallet stay closed just like their mind they are all about inclusivity diversity but they're they don't have any diversity of thought they they want to be so inclusive that they are excluding everybody you feel what i'm saying they're excluding every all of the gamers and they want to be and, and they talk always 24 7 about inclusivity man this thing is crazy bro this thing is crazy it's because bro. a lot of the shit that they've been doing over the past couple of years isn't flying anymore and <laughs> when they do a lot of this stuff it gets backlash even if it's not intentional if it just kind of looks like it there's backlash so this is from grums sharing this uh this is from fast company video game maker <laughs> ubisoft in chaos after anti-DEI backlash. Now, that looks like a normal headline, but when you keep reading, it starts to make more sense to where they're leaning with this. The Assassin's Creed game maker delayed its biggest launch of the year. Damn. Reduced four... And, of course, like, the titles are always, like, exaggerated, right? Like, that's how the game works, right? On YouTube, uh, especially the tabloids, the, the newspaper, which nobody now read, uh, nobody reads them nowadays, right? Uh, it's all digital, but... The articles, the titles are always exaggerated, right? You guys uh, would agree, right? Yeah, because it's true. But this time, I don't think they are exaggerated. Like, where are the lies? Video game maker Ubisoft in chaos after anti-DE backlash. The Assassin's Creed game maker delayed its biggest launch. It was the it was supposed to be their biggest launch. You know, they wanted the Christmas sales. They wanted the kitty sales. They wanted like the mommy and daddies to buy their kiddos. Assassin's Creed, like a new Assassin's Creed on the block, right? Like the BBC edition, the Captain, the King, the Captain. Uh, first of all, we for I forgot, like, but salute to Captain BBC! Yeah. Don't wanna forget, man, I don't wanna forget. Like, they, they done that crap to a real Yasuke. This person existed in real life, okay? They've done that to, they've done all this crap to a real life person, man. Crazy, bro. Crazy, Cast man. And is facing calls to sell in what is being called an incel victory. 
Of course, that's what they're calling it. They're not calling yeah. it what it really is. People are just sick of this shit. And <laughs> Ubisoft went completely all in with it. And now they're not making it the money they thought they would. They thought, yeah. like many companies, that the modern audience would show up and save the day. <laughs> and that's not what happened now, is it? There's way more. Forbes is having a little bit of a meltdown about it. Paul Passy, a writer over there that sometimes has he, he has sometimes some good opinions, but he's also kind of set in his ways with yeah, this. Yeah. He definitely doesn't like. Yeah, uh, tranquilo papi. Uh, tranquilo Paul Tessi. Oh, that rhymed there. Paul Tessi is big man. Uh, after Assassin's Creed Shadow Delay. Okay, so he put out something. Let's see. Anti-woke people, for sure. After Assassin's Creed Shadows Delay, Ubisoft acknowledges Outlaws issues anti-woke pushback. That's the biggest thing that a lot of these people don't like is the anti-woke. Yeah, okay, forget about the woke stuff. I mean, it's true, right? Like, y'all suckers are politicizing the games to the level of your, you are excluding everybody, just like I said. You say inclusion of everybody, diversity, right? Okay, but like, you guys don't believe that. You guys don't believe that. If you did, you would also believe in diversity of thought as well, right? You wouldn't be so racist, openly racist towards Asian people, black people. You, you say you're not, but you are, right? And you are sexist towards men. You don't think brown people exist right and yeah like you openly say white people bad white people this white people that right like so what are we talking about but okay forget about all this woke anti-woke this and that okay forget about it the game looks like trash the game is trash it belongs in the garbage that's where it does it we deserve better we should what we talk what are we talking about people got rtx 3090 not everybody but okay let's just put it this way we got rtx 4090 out there right now ps5 pro is coming out for crying out loud and games are not even looking that good assassin's creed is like looking like a playstation 3 game bro like damn damn man push back and on top you have the audacity to charge people 17 18 dollars a month for crap products be like yeah yeah uh, buy our ubisoft uh, pass or season pass like that bull squash you know the subscription based service yeah buy that or you can get the game up for 130 i believe 100 uh correct me if i'm wrong there's 70 dollar version but that's for the peasants that's for the peasants okay you're gonna get delayed they're delaying the game right three days or a week something like that now of course they have delayed it to february yeah. like that's different but initially you if you were were looking to pay 70 dollars you were gonna get a delayed version you are not gonna get a full game right and there's like season pass also added in the game there's like a bunch of other stuff so you want to get all that you gotta pay 130 or you can buy over subscription where you're not gonna own the games and, uh, but you gotta pay 80 18 dollars a month usd and once the subscription runs out yeah you're not gonna own the game and they openly said that hey gamers should get real comfortable not owning the game so gamers are getting real comfortable right now so why y'all suck is bad why y'all suck is looking like this right now i don't get it you guys said right like don't don't like it don't buy it i guess gamers are doing that which i mean i'm sorry a lot of this is anti-woke pushback people are getting tired of it which is why they're trying to rebrand it now I was reading mm -hmm. a couple things about that. They've been trying to do it for a while with, like, Brit. Uh, it, it, they have done it so much that they have broke an average person, right? Because a couple of years ago, I was seeing the back... Uh, I was seeing all of this happen in Hollywood, but did I talk ever talk about it? Nah, I didn't care for it, right? But now it's like everybody's talking about it. Everybody's like, generally, not everybody, but generally, generally, right? So it's it's one of those infections that has gotten so out of hands that people are like starting to notice an average day person that is told to look down. Hey, don't look up, don't look up. It's just the rain. But if you gonna if you're gonna look up, you're gonna realize that they're pissing on your heads. So people have started to look up, and they are now re metaphorically speaking, and they're realizing what's going on. And people are realizing they deserve better. Oh, absolutely, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, we got PS5 Pro coming out. Right? Like, damn, maybe you're watching this when PlayStation 6 is out or something, bro. We deserve better than that. Edge and stuff like that. But I think what's going to happen is you're going to see a complete retooling of DEI. Uh, they're probably going to try to tone down the very blatant uh, anti-white man talk. Okay. And try to make it not so hostile like it has been. Like, you know, telling people that just exist, that they're garbage trash people, like, yeah. like they do to cishet men. Telling them they're useless trash and they need to get out of the way and lick everybody's boots for... Uh, oppression in history that people alive today had nothing to do with. It's wild. 
So they're very mad about this. And the reason they're mad is because, well, I mean, Ubisoft acknowledged the the backlash. I mean, that's why they canceled. That's why they canceled Assassin's Creed. Make no, well, they didn't cancel. Yeah. They delayed it. Make yeah. no mistake about it. Uh, honestly, I feel like that this is like a Mandela effect uh, ready to happen. What if they actually cancel? I don't think they would, though, but I would not be shocked. But imagine they do cancel it, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, the backlash led to low pre-orders. And the pre-orders for that game are low. That's why they're refunding everybody, which uh, people are very confused about. They released another statement at 1.31 p.m. saying, following our recent announcement, we understand there are many questions on how pre-orders will be impacted, especially for collector's editions. Rest yeah. assured, we are working with retailers and digital stores, oh, wow. and more updates will come soon. Thank oh. you for understanding. So that means retailers are having these pulled. What's like, GameStop going to do? I uh, re retailers be like this. <laughs> Retailers be like, hey, well, bro, like, what? What are we do? We, we, we were, we wanted to sell that. Uh, we, uh, we had like 10 people only pre ordering that, you know? Bruh. We wanted to sell that over 10 customers, man. Please, man, we need those customers, man. You look like it's crazy. You gotta cancel. Now we're not gonna get over 10 customers back. I thought this was just gonna be on their store. Apparently, there's more than this. So, what a shit show this is. Damn. This is crazy. This is crazy. So, guys, check out, or I should say, do not watch this video because the Ghost of Tampon situation, insane right now. I'm not sure if you guys saw this. If you saw it, hey, good. But if you did not see it, do not watch this video, okay? Check out the video on the left, and I'll see you right there.